Greetings and best wishes to our Catholic brothers and sisters. Welcome back to our channel. Wishing you all a wonderful day in Christ. In the sacred whispers of today's message, the Blessed Mother calls humanity towards a profound and lasting spiritual transformation. The prevailing time is described as the Day of Apocalypse, unveiling a series of global challenges reflecting the cosmic battle between forces of good and evil. Notably, the call extends to specific nations, including the isolated and authoritarian North Korea, deemed a significant threat to the world. Let us commence our thoughts with humble prayers lifted to the Blessed Mother, seeking the awareness and guidance of the Holy Spirit. It is crucial to remember that in prayer, we engage in a spiritual battle against the devil and his evil spirits, recognizing them as our true enemies. Holy Mary, Mother, Beloved Daughter of God the Father, I entrust my soul under your care. Protect the divine life within my soul. Do not let me lose that life through sin. Please safeguard my mind and will so that all my thoughts and desires may please the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest updates. Join us on this journey, and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, may God always bless you. In the next segment, we are invited to reflect on the words of our Heavenly Mother and accept her sacred guidance for our lives. As beloved children of her heart, we are enveloped in the love, peace, and trust of our Mother in the Holy Trinity's will. The call resounds for us to remember the love we must use to overcome suffering, like children born of the Holy Spirit. Humanity finds itself in foretold moments of hardship, but amidst the suffering, there is a call for genuine repentance and forgiveness from the Son of God. Deviating from his teachings, the spread of evil with relentless power leaves a bitter trail of hatred, revenge, and disobedience in the hearts of God's children, whether knowingly or unknowingly. Dear ones, humility shows that we do not presume to know everything. The nourishment for our souls lies in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, a source of peace for the beloved and faithful. As humanity collectively undergoes suffering, unseen forces beyond the tangible surface, like a stirring sea and silent tsunami, occur without warning. In the face of upcoming challenges, the Blessed Mother advises against ignoring the upheaval. Overconfidence and disobedience to the call for caution can lead to suffering. The reins of control will tighten, and lightning will act as a warning for the swift fulfillment of prophecies. Those who once doubted will believe, acknowledging celestial announcements as the intervention of the divine. The earth will shake, and nations will grapple with intense earthquakes influenced by celestial bodies. Real disasters are lurking on the horizon. Amid unpredictable weather changes, anxiety threatens to control humanity. Our prayers are called to the west coast of the United States, the Middle East, Israel, Indonesia, and Australia. The Sacred Heart of Jesus bled for the pain and death that humanity must endure. In this apocalyptic period, technological advancements have led nations astray from the awareness of God the Father. Widespread evil demands introspection, urging every soul to change. Numerous symbols and signs persist, but many still pursue worldly goals. The echoing call is for a permanent sacred transformation, a journey towards the salvation of souls yearning for God the Father. Let us carry the sacraments and the rosary, seeking protection in the holy embrace of our Mother. Reconciliation with God the Son and our fellow brethren becomes crucial in seeking a spiritually transformed and enriched life. In the spirit of love and guidance from God, 
Let us once again direct our souls to the words of our Most Holy Mother, a source of steadfast support and profound wisdom. She invites us to live a life in accordance with the commandments, participating in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist with purified souls through confession and cultivating a life of prayer. Our Mother's love is always present in our lives, a shield of protection and guidance to help us overcome life's challenges. Let us heed the call of our Mother to live without causing harm to our neighbors, becoming a source of brotherly love and avoiding sowing seeds of division. By doing so, we emulate God the Son, ensuring that both He and our Mother will always stand by us. As we embark on this journey, let us reflect on the profound simplicity of the message, love, mercy, and embodying the teachings of Jesus Christ. Our Mother's prayer resounds through the ages, reminding us that a life lived in obedience and love is the path to true peace, a peace that transcends the chaos of the times. Similar to the prophet Daniel understanding the importance of knowledge and living by the scriptures, we are also invited to immerse ourselves in the teachings of our faith. By applying these teachings in practice, we strengthen our faith, nurturing a firm and resilient devotion to Jesus Christ. As we contemplate recent manifestations of the power of nature, we can recognize a message, a call for humanity to acknowledge and rectify its transgressions. Our mother's words echo as a reminder that in the face of adversity, our faith is the anchor that helps us stand firm. Let us take a moment to pray, acknowledging that we need divine assistance and seeking guidance from our pure and immaculate mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Please leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications for the latest videos. In conclusion, I wish you all a day filled with positive energy. May the Lord be with you. Amen.